Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are hopefully going to get to our oats. It is June 1st, and I've had some pretty not so good contracts here in June. I uh, let's see, I did a plow, one plowing, and two cultivating contracts. Uh, yeah, and then I have this one little tiny baling contract. Uh, but I thought I'd bring you back at this point because I don't know if I sh have showed you guys this or not. I may have, and if I did, you know, forgive me. But um, with this setup here, I can basically do silage bales in two steps. Um, making the bales, I, I can cut them, windrow them, bale them, wrap them in one step with this setup here. And then the final step is just to pick them up, right? Uh, so in case I hadn't showed this to you, I wanted to go ahead and do that now because uh, this is really cool. It's very efficient. Um, so um, what we're going to do is switch to our front mower first. Let's get that thing unfolded because this little front mower creates its own windrows. Um, so for small fields, it's just ideal because then I don't have to do a windrow step. Now, of course, this isn't going to work for hay. It's only, you know, for silage uh, and uh, yeah, only for silage, actually. Uh, you could do it with grass bales, but I would need a different baler for, for that. Uh, okay, so we got that going. Let's go ahead and drop the mower and start her up. Now we're going to switch back to you. Start the baler, drop the lift, and let's do this. Oh, you know, the other thing I want to do here is make sure... Uh, automatic drops is on okay and so yeah um, oh it looks I guess I already had yeah I already had some material in our baler already that's just more money for us but yeah it's basically doing it all in just this one step it's really amazing okay, let's stop and let it get the thingy out there so yeah, it's not been the best uh, month for contracts. We haven't made a ton of money. I still need to repair my tractor too, but um, you know maybe we'll do that after we're finished with this contract because we will have a little bit more money uh, when that's finished. Okay, I didn't actually have to wait for that to finish wrapping, but I've been sitting here yapping while it's been wrapping. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, anyway, enough of that. So yeah, uh, this is really cool though. It's uh, it's really neat that you know I can get this all knocked out um, just in this one step and not have to um, you know do the multiple steps because I mean if, if you did it the long way first you got to mow it then you got to windrow it then you got to bale it and then you got to wrap it and we're doing all of that stuff in just one step here which is just amazing okay so let's um, put our lift up and put our mower up and then we'll just kind of flip around here to do this corner uh, yeah it looks like that part of the grass is on the you can't do that on this part of the land deal I wish there was a way you could still pick that stuff up well you know I guess I could do it from the land Larry's landscaping menu but that cost me money <laughs> <laughs> so, we don't want to spend any more money than we have to, right? Uh, let's see. Get that over there. Drop the lift. Okay, here we go. Um, this is probably definitely taxing the horsepower of my little tractor here, though. So, there is that. Plus, we're going uphill just a little bit. But, I, you know, but still, I mean, this is saving us a ton of time. And at some point, you know, we're going to get ourselves a large tractor... And a large tractor would be able to handle this much better. But it is working. We're getting the job done, which is amazing. Okay, so yeah, let's get this wrapped up, get these bales sold, get the contract finished, and then we're going to sleep until July. And then we should be able to, at that point, start thinking about doing our oats. Oh, I was going to mention one other thing, too. Uh, one of you guys in the... Oh, hold on. We should still be able to pick up this little bit here. Uh, one of you guys told me in the uh, co comments, I almost said contracts, in the comments, are you going to pick all of that up? Oh, nice. Okay. 
that um, I could potentially use the train silo to store my stuff. It's not technically what it's intended for, but what you told me was is if I do that, I'll have to I'll have to pay, you know, for the time that my stuff is sitting in there. And it would be exactly the same thing as leasing it. And since this is a single player game, nobody else is going to actually be using it, right? Here I am yakking again and not paying attention. So that could be a really good solution. But what I need to do is I need to compare the math of that versus, you know, just leasing an, an extra trailer or maybe even potentially buying an extra trailer, just depending upon, you know, how much, uh, you know, it costs for all that. And, you know, whatever's the more economical way to handle that is what we will do. So, yeah, we'll look into that, but it, I, it does give us, you know, an option now for storing our oats because we're not going to sell the oats right away. We have to wait until the price is good, which I think is not till January or something like that. It seems like the price is good in January for everything, almost. That's the time to sell. Um, how did we miss that? I don't know. I probably wasn't paying attention again. I'll, I'll go by and get it again. Uh, so yeah, let me finish this up and um, get the get the money, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we will proceed from there. All right, guys, here we are at the animal dealer. Uh, let's go ahead and offload here, and we're currently at one forty eight seven seventy six. Let's see what we get. We'll get some money from the silage bales and then, of course, the contract itself. All right, so we got a $2,500 bucks, uh, from that. And then if we go into to the contract and complete it, space collect, we are now up to one fifty five nine twenty seven. Okay, so not huge money, but... That's about the best we can do in June, I think. So let's uh, let's just make sure there aren't any more contracts. I'm just going to spam the X button for a second. Nope, nothing there. Okay, I didn't think so, but it was worth a try. So let's head on back to the ranch and drop off our trailer. We need to get uh, our tractor repaired, too. Uh, one of the things uh, about, the la uh, or about the field that we did... And when I was going up the hill, man, I could just barely chug along. Uh, and that is in part also, and maybe even mostly because our pack, uh, tractor is not in very good uh, repair right now. Uh, so that it affects the horsepower mainly, if not entirely, you know, when it's not in, in good repair. I haven't really noticed the tractor not work well in any other way, but I have noticed, you know, the horsepower goes down when you need to repair it so uh, we'll get that done and then uh, I think it's just time to sleep take a break until July and uh, when July rolls around we will see where we're at both in regards to contracts and with in regards to harvesting our oats All right, let's see how much this is going to cost. Got to get her done, man. Repair. $8,523. Well, you know what? I thought it was going to be around ten grand, so there we go. Now our tractor's in good repair. All the way back, we got all of our horsepower back. I can already tell she feels a lot better now. <laughs> Not really. Well, sort of, kind of, actually. She does feel a little more spunky. It could all just be in my head, but let's just uh, let's pretend that She's more spunky now. Or he, or it, or whatever. Okay, so, yeah, I think, guys, it's time to sleep. Um, there isn't really anything else I can do for now that I can think of. Um, I have considered, and I haven't thought, I haven't thought long and hard about this, but I have considered maybe getting into the logging business kind of as a side gig. But one of the main reasons I wouldn't do that is because 
And by the way, new announcement too, is I now have a multiplayer server for my channel members. And we are on the Erlengrat map, and I have uh, a logging operation going on on that map. And I will, uh, I do plan to, you know, live stream that. Uh, so you guys will be able to see, you know, some, some of that action on the live stream. Um, not necessarily planning on doing Let's Plays on that map. Uh, it's multiplayer, so I got other guys playing with me. and uh, But we, I will probably do some live streaming on that and then put that up on the channel for those of you who are interested in watching. Also, if you're interested in joining that server, uh, you first have to be a channel member. Uh, and then if you are a channel member, you are welcome to join us on that server. Uh, if you're interested in that information, shameless plug coming up here, uh, hit that join button on my channel and it'll give you all the information about that. Okay, so we are, we've already checked the contracts, da -da 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 -da, nothing there. And it is, let's take a look at the calendars. You guys were also telling me in the, the comments that the calendars prices uh, or no not the calendar prices these prices here were not accurate when the game first came out i gotta think though that you know that um giant software has fixed that by this point but it is something we should take a look at you know when we're when we're getting ready to sell well we could probably look at it right now you know um if we were to sell oats right now in uh june the price would well we can't tell it doesn't tell us exactly what the price is here, but my guess is if that's 452 and that's we'll just say 450 and 650, that means this would be 550, and that means this price would be somewhere around 475 ish. And yeah, I I mean that's sort of kind of in the ballpark, you know, without without knowing for sure. So it does look to me like the prices are probably. Uh, pretty accurate um, now. And again, that, that's something that I'm sure they would have noticed and I'm sure they would have fixed early on when they first released the game. So, uh, But nevertheless, I do appreciate that being pointed out to me just so we could check and make sure. All right, you guys. Well, let's go ahead and sleep until July and then we'll see what's going to happen. All right, guys, we are back. It is July 1st, and look at this. Our barley's ready to harvest. That's amazing. Okay, so we got that going on. However, we don't have to harvest this immediately because let's take a look at our calendar here. Uh, we can actually wait all the way through the end of August, uh, which for us would be August 3rd since we have the first three days of the month, before we have to actually harvest this. So. It kind of depends at this point on, you know, what contracts, I guess, are available to us because that's really our, our only other source of income at the moment. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on with our contracts. Ooh, look at the bailing contracts and including our favorite field, 71. I knew this was going to happen because, you know, it's the second cutting. Um, and this is a silage bale, which is even better, more money for us. And of course, as usual, we're going to borrow their items because I love to use the crone swather. So let's go ahead and borrow that. And then the rest of these, as usual, we're just going to accept the contracts and do them all. And good. Now, we also have a harvesting contract. This is a, a wheat field. Um, so here's the thing. Let, let's not do anything with that quite yet because we now are going to, I mean, as soon as we harvest, rather, our oats, we are going to need a header. So the question now is, and you know, there's going to be more harvesting contracts coming up now as we get into the later summer and into the, into autumn. Um, the question now is, should we get ourselves a header for our Dutzfar combine? So let's go into the shop. This is what is uh, in the used thing, by the way, the used for sale. Here's a header here. Um, I don't know if that would work though. What's that? A forage wagon. Okay. This is a Kloss baler. Um, that's not, oh, that's a square baler. Okay. Claws, claws. 
Probably claws. Uh, this is a bale pickup for big, ginormous square bales. I guess you can use it. Uh, I guess you could use it for big round bales too. But we don't need that because we already have our pickup. So I guess the question here is, this is, uh, if I buy the Dutes Far Header brand new, it's $30,000. This is a 45-foot header. But I don't know, man. I don't know if it would fit on the Dutes Far. And even if it did, is it going to be able to run it? Doesn't give us a horsepower requirement. Hmm. I'd hate to buy it and then find out I couldn't use it because if we resell it, we're, we're going to lose some money on it. Plus, it's going to cost us, even this one's going to cost us almost twice as much as the Dutes Far Header. Let's look at that. So that's this guy right here for thirty thousand. Yeah, I don't, <clears throat> I don't think that's a good move. Even if, even if our combine could run that header, I just think it's a little bit too much for us to afford right now. So here's the thing: I'm gonna hold off on purchasing this, and we're gonna do contracts. Let's go back in and see if we can get even more contracts, and we could. I mean, th this is such an easy peasy thing. We'd lose 133 bucks by using their stuff, but and we we take it to the grain mill. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it by virtue of the fact that I've only done one actual harvesting contract so far, well with grain, and you know that way we get the experience. We're gonna use the same exact equipment that we have ourselves, except for we're gonna use theirs, so I can practice with it. And I think from that standpoint, it makes sense to do it, even though we won't make a ton of money off of it. All right, so let's borrow these items. Now, let's do new contracts, cultivating and cultivating. This is on field 56. They're going to give us a large cultivator. We lose $888 by doing it. Where is 56 at? That is right here. That's not that big of a field. It's the same one we did our very, very first contract on, as a matter of fact, and it's right across the road from the store. Uh, but in this case, we're getting a larger cultivator than we had when we did that. So, yeah, we're going to also, we're, there's going to be so much stuff in the yard, it's going to be nuts. So we're going to take that cultivating contract, and this one we might as well do also. And, yeah, that's going to be a nice little chunk of change. Now, is there anything more that will pop up for us? Okay, something else looked like it just popped up. More cultivating and more harvesting. Field 64. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? We're going to have the equipment. So let's take all of these as well. Um, okay. And anything else? Yep, something else just popped up. Another cultivating? Sure, why not? Now, something else just popped up. Cultivating? See, the town is really starting to uh, appreciate having me around because I'm doing all their work for them. So we're just accepting these because we're going to use that original equipment that we had for all of this. Um, okay, anything else? Yeah, look at this, man. We are going to make some bank this time around. One more just popped up. Harvesting. Now, this is... Harvesting in 75. How big is 75? It's, uh, it's not that big. So, yeah, we can use the dudes far for that, too. So we'll just accept this, not borrow the items. Um, okay. Excellent. Okay, so not counting the money that we'll make from being able to sell the extra bales, uh, which is significant. We're looking at, uh, this is going to be a super rough guesstimate, but we're looking at uh, 4 times 4 is 16, 17, we'll say 18, plus we'll say 8 is 26, plus 5 is 31, plus 23 is 54, 55, 56, 57, 58 with those two 500s. 
Uh, 59, these two together, 60-ish, plus 4, 64, plus 7 is 71, 73, 74, 75, 76, 78. So we're going to make about $78,000 off of this, minus, you know, the, the stuff that we lose for the equipment that we borrowed, but plus all the money we're going to make selling the bales from all the bailing contracts. So we could actually potentially with that guys, we could very easily um get make a hundred thousand dollars off of all of these contracts. So that's exciting because that really opens some doors up for us. Um one of my top priorities and I mentioned this I don't know if I think it was in the last episode is purchasing the Elm Street farm. And it's got a crop of cotton on it and what is this? Oh, shoot. That's been harvested. Okay, duck on it. This had weed on it. I was I, I would have liked to have bought this before they harvested this field, so then we could have gotten the, you know, the wheat. But, again, I just, um, you know, wasn't quite ready to do it. I cultivated this field for them. Um, and it's... It's got weeds, so yeah, we can, we can buy a, a field of weeds. <laughs> that's all right. It's all good, man. Um, so yeah, I really want to buy this property. And so we will almost certainly do that if, if I can get another hundred grand out of doing these contracts. So yeah, it's going to be a good, a good, uh, next couple of in game days making all that money. All right, guys. Um, now in terms of what I'm going to show you, everything we're going to do except for the harvesting of the wheat. We haven't harvested wheat yet. We have harvested sunflowers. You guys have already seen me do multiple times. So I don't think I don't think I'm going to show any of the contract work other than the harvesting. So so maybe we'll do the harvesting first and we'll do a little montage uh, for that and show you guys that to, to end out this episode and then off camera I'm going to just do all the rest of this work. And, you know, bring you back in the next episode and show you how much money we, we actually made off the deal. And then unless something happens that changes my mind, we should be able to buy the Elm Street Farm in the next episode. And I'm very excited about doing that. I live in your thoughts I think about
without you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found The rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say That I love you Ooh, ooh You, ooh
right, guys, that concludes uh, the harvest contracts. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, my first time doing wheat uh, here in Farming Simulator 22. And yeah, it was lots of fun. We even made a little bit of extra cash uh, off the, uh, you know, the bonus wheat that we get in addition to, you know, what we'll get paid for the contracts. So I thought maybe what I could do is go over uh, or go back to those fields with my baler and bale up the straw, but it wouldn't let me do it. So I actually started recording myself doing that until I discovered um, that I couldn't. So I decided just to cut that out of the video. All right, so we are finished with all of the uh, harvesting contracts. Like I mentioned, this is a really nice tractor, a 6230R. Um, I don't know, is that a, I think that's probably a medium tractor. Just curious, let's take a look at um, John Deere, 6230R. Just for future reference, you know, in case, um. We might want something like that in the future. So the 62, this is the 6230R. Okay, so that sucker cost $233,500. But what a nice machine. I really uh, enjoyed that machine. And, um, you know, I, I have, I have a John Deere on the multiplayer server, but I don't, think it's this model maybe it is i don't know i'll have to look yeah maybe it maybe i do have the 6230r i'm not sure but man i really enjoyed that tractor that was good um good stuff okay so let's see if we go to actually no i guess that's it i guess we're finished um for this episode so as i had mentioned to you previously i have a bunch of haying and cultivating contracts to do now and so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to officially end the episode here. But what I will do is I may record some bonus footage of a little bit of the haying and a little bit of the cultivating. Um, for those of you who, you know, want a little bit of extra. And I'll also show um, in that bonus footage, you know, how much we, we make off of, uh, you know, at the end of the day. But for those of you who are going to uh, leave the video... And come back in the next episode. Uh, right now we're sitting in $146,986. I expect that to be at least $100,000 more uh, by the time we start the next episode. So let's hope that is the case. And then our very next um, thing we're going to do is purchase the Elm Creek Farm. Really looking forward to that. So guys, uh, again, officially ending. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.